Chef, is it bringing the heat in the kitchen for people like mm, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jessica Alba? He's heating up his socials, cooking without his shirt. Please welcome the author of Did You Eat Yet? It is Ronnie Wu, everybody. He's here. It's from the response from the audience <laughs> right there says it all. All right, that's Drew Barrymore with Chef Ronnie Wu, and it's Friday. Maybe you're having friends or family over for the weekend. You need some ideas for what to cook, or maybe you're just ready to treat yourself to a delicious dinner or hang out with cool people like I am this morning. <laughs> my guest has you covered. Ronnie Wu is here hanging out with me this morning. Hi. Hi, Gianna. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, I feel so you. strange with the, the distance I between know, us. I know, right? <laughs> it's, this is so we can see this right here, the cover of your book. Uh, first of all, I have to ask you, did you eat yet? I did. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was telling Lisa that I just ate two hard boiled eggs. <laughs> oh, you're keeping it kind of healthy. I'm keeping, keeping it kind of healthy today, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's how I like to start my morning. And then I slowly dip into the, the more indulgent stuff. <laughs> and speaking of indulgent, I think that's what's so great about your cookbook. I was flipping through it, reading the intro. I love the nods to your family and the inspiration there, but all the creativity in it as well. So it, this was something, food, for you and your family. You kind of just gathered around the table for a meal. It's kind of how you, your love language so to speak. Totally, yeah. I mean, my parents were super big on making sure that we ate dinner like five to six times out of the week together. And so that was always their thing. My mom was always making dinner, like she was like cooking throughout the day. And so that was sort of what we, you know, our family wasn't super expressive when we were growing up. So that was the way that we sort of came together and just kind of like, you know, caught up with each other. Even if we weren't talking to each other because we weren't always talking to each other, it was just kind of a way of just, you know, being lovey-dovey with each other, but through food. <laughs> I, and I think that is so important, especially as you're growing up with your family to spend time together, just have that moment of, you know, togetherness and conversation. And then like you said, even if you're not talking, you're enjoying the food that probably your mom or someone, or maybe your nana my or your grandma yeah, made my grandma, for my you. Papa. Yeah. And they always ask you that question, did you eat yet? Yeah, in Chinese it's nesik jifan mei, which translates to have you eaten rice yet, but it's more, it also translates to have you eaten dinner yet, because rice and dinner were interchangeable words. So that was something that I've always remembered, and so it was like a quick, it was like a, not a quick nod, it was like a very, you know, upfront nod to my mom and then to my grandmother. So. Okay, we saw those pictures. <laughs> I don't know if your mom's seen those pictures. No. She has. So you, I mean, you're obviously fit, and um, we should say that you started off as a model. I and did. your journey here went through you going, getting your education to master's degree yeah. and now to a chef. Yeah. I mean, my journey here has been pretty, pretty like a bit of a roller coaster, but I mean, I, I won't have it any other way because I think those experiences really made me who I am and really sort of made me like a well-rounded person because I got to experience all these things that I wanted to do. And when I wanted to be a model, I was like, I'm going to be a model. And I wanted to be, you know, do therapy and get my master's degree. Um, I went and did it, you know, but now I'm a chef and it's it's just really, really fun. And this is where I'm supposed to be. But, you know, it's, it's always like sometimes it can be a challenge convincing sure. people like you know an ex-model like a former model like does he know what he's doing does he know what he's cooking oh. and I'm like oh trust me I know so much about food I love food I but I also want to stay healthy so it's kind of a balance between the two but I mean anyone who knows me knows I eat I eat like <laughs> Voraciously, <laughs> you know, oh, like just looking at endlessly. Your book. I promise, anyone who goes to the book will know that you know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, we've got 20 seconds left. You have a book signing tonight here in the Bay. I do, yeah, hey, 5 30 at Fabulosa. Ronnie, so am... anyone can come, and anyone should uh, come and visit and come see me, get their book signed. Awesome, everyone should go check it out as well. Did you eat yet, Ronnie Wu? Thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. <laughs> thank you, Jenna. Come back and bring some food. <laughs> I <please>. will. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Absolutely.